Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, and myself, Jason, bringing you whiskey review number 71, where we're going to review the Glen Goyne 21 year old. Now, hopefully, it does focus in on that. And uh, this one here is a whiskey pretty much I picked up from Drinks by the Dram. I also recently also got back from the distillery, and I think I'm gonna have a seven videos actually on all the seven distilleries I visited whilst in Scotland. So stay tuned for those as those will be hopefully next week. This week's going to be concluding Glen Goyne and a couple other whiskey reviews. So I'm going to pour myself a dram instead of talking on about my trip. I'll do that in a video. Uh, and I've only got a little bit left as getting back into whiskey reviews after four or five weeks from away from it uh, is rather difficult to get back in front of it. So there we go. Now the whiskey, in terms of my review style structure, the age of this is a 21 year old whiskey. Bottled at an ABV of 43%. Uh, the cast selection are 100% first fill European sherry oak casks. Uh, the distillery is the Glen Goyne Distillery, as you can just see over there. Uh, the parent company of them, Ian McLeod Distillers, and they are based in the Highlands of Scotland. They're just around about, I think, our journey time was 45 minutes in terms of driving from Scotland uh, from Glasgow. So, based in the Highlands of Scotland. The price point on this whiskey is £110. And that is for the full size bottle, which you'll just see over there. And uh, in terms of exclusivity, it's not exclusive. It's part of the core range, which you can buy almost everywhere and anywhere. And there is no caramel color. And you can just see that by looking at that nice dark color to this whiskey, the glorious one. So that means we're gonna have to assess the color first off. And I'm gonna say, if I hold it up, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm gonna say this is like a dark, deep amber. It is rather dark. I wish I had more of the sample left, but I did so many, so I'd say, outtakes that it didn't look too good, so we're left with a little bit for this review. So, dark deep amber is the color. Let's begin by assessing the nose. So, to begin the assessment on the nose of this whiskey, this is full of those ripe red apples, and I believe this is a distillery style, but you really get it. And this is sort of like red apples, but coated in toffee, so a toffee apple, so to speak. You get a little bit of those sort of raspberries coming in as well, this fresh raspberries just on the bush and just uh, picking them off, and then a nice sweet spice makes way. More towards, I'd say, a cinnamon, cinnamon powder, uh, or cinnamon bark, actually, but with a little bit of those dried fruits inside. And right behind that, you get a nice brown sugar emerging, and it's almost like you've got them all stewing together in a pan. It's like you're making a Christmas cake. And I can see why they said that at the distillery, the 21's like Christmas cake. You get all these flavors really working well together, but it's not a powerful or really bitter or sharp, well over-matured Christmas cake, but it's just enough that it's very well rounded and all those flavors really complement one another on the nose. So I'm looking forward to the, palette this one so we'll move into the palette. So my initial impressions on the palette for this whiskey it does start out nice and, and really nice and creamy. It's almost like a cream infused honey as you get that little bit of sweetness and a slight silkiness on the palate. And it leads me actually into saying the texture is almost a medium full. It's not really you know over the top but then it's not light like for example the younger whiskies from the range were you get a note of a, a pastry note, almost like a glazed cinnamon swirl with a bit of extra icing, really giving that nice sweetness, making its way through. Also, oaty biscuits. If you guys eat an oaty biscuits or hobnobs, a bit like that, but not necessarily with the chocolate aspect. And it makes way for a slight peppery spice. But it's ever so gentle, so I'd say white peppery note. And then you get a nice cinnamon powder working itself back in. And this is, again, with raisins and... Maybe prunes, prunes, and then a little bit of raspberries, and these are little tart raspberries. So, really giving those sort of again sherried fruits almost, but not overly sherry. And then right on the end of that, right on the back of the palate, you're getting a orange waxy citrus note. It's sort of like it's sort of coat in the back. Really delicious as it wraps up all these flavors. So we're going to move into the finish next. And we'll come to my conclusion on the Glen Goyne 21. So, into the finish. So, into the finish for this whiskey. It does have a little bit of notes of um, spiced oak. But at the same time, you're getting these mouth-warming spices, which sort of really just make you want more and more of this whiskey. 
It does have that sort of orange waxiness that does re-enter back in and it sort of coats, not the front of the palette, but sort of mid to back palette really well. And a little bit of dried apricots work themselves around. And the dryness almost reminds me of like if you've had a black tea, that little dryness at the back with quite a rich character and a little bit of dark chocolate, but not over the top, very light dark chocolate. So all in all, I'm going to give my rating for this Glen Gein 21. And I'm giving it a 92 out of 100. Overall, I think this whiskey is a superb whiskey for, for in terms of price, uh, superb because many whiskies are now creeping up to 150 and I just think many 21 year old whiskies that I've tried are not really worth 150, but this one is totally worth that 100 pound price tag, well 110. In terms of time for this whiskey, does it need it? Yes, I would say give it that little bit of time, let it open up, let it really show you why they keep the whiskey unhurried and you'll really enjoy much more of those rich sherry characters working themselves out. And in terms of water, would I add any other water to whiskey? Uh, personally, no. I would completely refrain from it as I feel it just collapses the texture and that's one thing I tried before when I tried it the first few times. Water, even though it's 43%, it doesn't feel that powerful on the palate so Leave it at its normal ABV and you will enjoy it. But overall, really, really good whiskey. Great dram. And if you get a chance to visit the distillery as well, it is just magical. But I'll leave that for you guys to discover in next week's video on the distillery tour of Glen Goyne. Uh, I've got the 25, the teapot dram, which is this one here, distillery exclusive, which I can't wait to review. And I've got also the car strip. So, um... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, drop it a like. Be sure to click my social medias. I'll leave them here. Uh, we are closing in on 1,500 followers on Twitter and 750 now on Instagram. Um, so really looking quite plus over there. And I think also Facebook. I don't really use that much, but I'm going to start integrating it more into the videos. So if you have enjoyed, drop it a like, subscribe. And this has been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video.